everyone, Lisa Sharp from Escape Out of the Box and it's Tuesday, I think it might be just almost afternoon but I tell you what, I'm so glad I came down here. The beach is amazing today, it's got all these sandbars um, all along its length and between the sandbars are all these beautiful pools so you could just sort of sit there in something that's, you know, like not more than knee high and just enjoy it, you know. I'm right out in the water as you can probably see, I'm not sure, and I'm still, you know, not even up to my knees and it's just really, really nice. I have to get back a special way or I'll end up through a pool, but it's still just amazing. Anyway, I'm here today and I'm starting a new um, theme, it's do-it-yourself designer beauty. And you know, it's my favourite subject of conscious connection with source, with who you are, with all that is. And when you tap into that, the beauty of all that is starts to radiate through you. And so um, this week, that's what the content of my videos and my blog is all about. And I've even got a special night on this week called A Night of Conscious Connection. It's a music event that goes for about 90 minutes and it's a singer, songwriter, storyteller type thing. Mostly original songs, if not all. And just the stories in between that I think are relevant at the moment, in the moment. They'll come out as they come. The waves are a bit noisy, sorry about that. <laughs> and I think I'm standing right at the point where um, they backwash onto each other, so okay. <laughs> anyway, have a really, really, really amazing week. And I'll be back again with more tomorrow. See ya. And in case you can't tell, I've got bubbles. See, and it's not do-it-yourself designer bubbles, it's do-it-yourself designer beauty part two. And if you've been reading my blogs, oh, by the way, I am here with my friend Jess. Jess? Hi, Lisa. <laughs> I hope I got her in the picture then. <laughs> anyway, um, we're here having a spa. We've done our laps. We've been very diligent, wonderfully um, amazing girls. And um, so if you've been reading my blog, I keep getting my arms stuck on the suction thing. <laughs> if you've been reading my blog, you know that I was talking about Beauty is um, on the path of me metamorphosis is the path to beauty. So basically it's personal transformation from the base component of our ego-centered nature to the gold that's in our authentic nature. And so um, all, all metamorphosis start like this with a base component like the butterfly with its egg and larva, the grub that eats and then cocoons itself as a, as a pupa and comes out as a butterfly. So, and the same with diamonds that are formed, you know, nearly 200 kilometers beneath the Earth's surface, deep in the belly, the womb of the Earth. And, and we are the same. We go through processes and phases in life. So today I would just have you consider how your life has taken you through different cycles and phases and how you have used these situations. Have you made the most of them and made them for your value or have you let them eat away at your zest for life? So I'll be back tomorrow. I'm not sure where I'll be, but I will be back. See you then. And yes, I'm back in the spa. I missed my video yesterday, but don't worry. This is part three. You won't miss out on anything. I was too busy organizing myself for my um, night of conscious connection, which was really fun. And the footage for that will come up sometime next week when my young son has edited the stuff that he picked up. In the meantime, I wanted to look at Do Yourself Designer Beauty and my thought for today is on the dark night of the soul. We all have periods where it feels like we've just sunk into some kind of weird abyss and it looks like we're going backwards and nothing feels very good, you know, a bit like the butterfly in the cocoon or the diamond 200 kilometers beneath the sunshine. But you know what, that isn't the case. It's kind of like, there's a verse in um, Song of Solomon that says, I slept but my heart was awake, listen my lover is knocking. When you're down in that deep dark place, there's actually a new call to something higher and deeper for you. So if you would just keep your focus on the fact that you will again see the sun, you, this still will pass, and allow it to pass through your life without resistance, and you'll find that you'll come out sparkling bigger and brighter than ever. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hi, Grivers. Lisa Sharp from Escape Out of the Box, and today I'm somewhere very different. In fact, I may have driven over the bridge before, but I've never stopped here. And I think I'm at a place called Hastings Point. And I've taken some photos, so if you have a look at the photo album that I will eventually get uploaded, you'll see that it says a nice little river that sort of flows out into, it's an inlet that flows out into the ocean. And I'm sure it fills up with high tide, but um, it's very pretty, it's very peaceful, and um, I don't really feel like moving. <laughs> uh, something tells me that I should go somewhere, but I don't know if that's just, you know, Sometimes we think we should be doing something when it's just as fine to sit and do nothing. 
So this is do-it-yourself designer beauty part four. And we've talked about, you know, the journey of the soul through different phases and, you know, we're kind of up to that point where we emerge out of that moment or that hit of darkness where we didn't feel so good in the valley of the shadow of death. I will remind you it's just a shadow of death, it's not death itself. And even, you know, what is death anyway? I'm really waffling today, aren't I? <laughs> I'm in a very pensive mode. But basically when we come through, um, you know, that darkness and emerge back out into the light, we come out with a greater capacity to reflect the beauty of everything that's within and of all that is. And, um, you know, I guess that's the whole point, to step into the beauty of who you really are and look at everything as part of the process of enabling you to do that regardless of whether you think it feels good at the time or not you know if you don't resist it it'll soon turn around and it will feel good and where you come to will feel good so um, do your best just to navigate your way through the stormier moments in peace and joy and um, look for the lesson and all the things that help you to focus on what's best so you can transition well um, and with the least <laughs> trauma because <laughs> it's going to happen one way or the other you might as well go with the flow right um anyway i really have waffled so i'll let you go with that don't forget my radio show i have a guest called linda logan and we're going to talk about um do it yourself designer beauty and whatever way happens to come out on that day so i'll see you tuesday for that maybe otherwise i'll see you for the next blog and the next series of do it yourself designer image okay bye